Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. Um, finally, <clears throat> I find the time to uh, record a short unboxing video. This is for a Benito antenna jet, RF splitter, antenna splitter basically. A device that allows you to connect up to three receivers on one antenna, which is very useful when you've got way more receivers than you have antennas, which I do. Um, you like comparing the performance of antennas in real time, which I do. And... Um, uh, and you write articles about radios and you use other radios to compare their performance to, to provide basically a reference or a datum, which I do and which I've just done. And uh, although I've wanted one of these for a long time, the, the kind of driver for this was um, was having to write the article for Radio User Magazine for the ELAD FDM S3 because I knew straight away that, you know, what I needed to do was to calibrate the performance of that radio by comparing it against... A similar radio um, and of course that turned out to be the FDM Duo which I've owned for a few years so I knew I wanted um, an antenna splitter so as that I could just do back-to-back -back comparisons in real time so when I contacted my friend Dennis Walter at Benito uh, he saw I said you know can you do me a deal and he obviously he did he, but he said you'll get a better deal if you wait a little bit so um, so I waited uh, and by the time this arrived a couple of weeks ago two or three weeks ago I'd already tested the S3 and written the article um, but it doesn't matter because um, uh, I used an antenna switch which isn't ideal, but okay. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of my, well, not, not, I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, but what I, someone commented, well, I can't believe that you don't have an antenna splitter, blah, blah, blah. Um, um, and, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was one step ahead of him. I just, it just hadn't arrived. So um, I used the switch and that was fine. You know, you can argue that conditions of propagation can change rapidly. And by the time you've recorded a signal and you've flicked the switch and you've recorded it again on the other radio, the things change. But that's okay if, as long as you're, you know, you're, you're, you're only spending a couple of minutes, which I did. But of course, that's not as good as just using a splitter. So you can literally just turn the AF gain up on one radio down, down again, and then AF the AF gain on the on, on, on the other radio up. So the splitter was the way to go. And here it is, and it's finally arrived. Uh, well, it's not finally arrived. It's uh, uh, I've finally gotten around to uh, opening the box. So. Um, well packed and there it is so it's the uh, Benito uh, AAS3 300 DP at active RF splitter 9 kilohertz to 300 megahertz lossless and the beauty of this is that you can power it by uh, input by an external DC input 5.5 to 12 volts or USB and obviously USB makes it very handy because I've got computers all over the place but it also makes it portable so if you want you know so you could use a one of the D, a, a USB power uh, uh, brick for example and take it out on a D expedition where you want to operate more than one radio for example with the uh, with the with the Benito Mega Loop or a Wellbrook Loop so uh, so there you go so RF input so that's the antenna and then you've got three outputs so you can attach three radios to one uh, antenna uh, without loss um, via the uh, uh, power USB so let's um let's try and do that so I've got all the cables actually here already so um, input 5 volt USB good sign power light is on and then the antenna which today is a Wellbrook is goes into there the RF input and then I've got two cables for output one and output two. So there you go. So as simple as that. So power, radio one, radio two, antenna, and that's it. So uh, what I've done is, so the radio, uh, in, sorry, input one, this, this, which is this one here. So that's goes to, that's going to my ICOM ICR75, Shannon Volmet, 5.505 megahertz. And that's going to my Yaesu FRG7700 tuned to the same station. So if this is working correctly, we should have a strong signal on both. Two, one. There you go. Newton, Megaport. Newton, at one, one, zero, 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 degrees, one, two, knots. So turn the preamp off. It's saying 10 dBs, but good signal. And then on the much older, 7700. Temperature 17, 1.13. 
So there you go, working perfectly. Visibility one zero kilometers or more. Cloud few at six hundred feet. Temperature one seven. Viewpoint. So there you go. That's going to make life much easier. So. Um... You know, these aren't very cheap devices to buy, um, but, you know, if like me, um, you know, you've got a lot of radios and uh, not so many uh, antennas, which is, I'm sure, universally the case, um, having a splitter like this that allows you to run multiple radios uh, on one antenna, particularly if you're actively um, comparing uh, equipment, uh, I think is uh, it's well worth the money. And um, as expected, with everything that Benito have ever sent me, uh, that I've ever bought from them, works perfectly. I've never had a failure from them. Um, you know, it's built. this stuff's built in Germany. And uh, I highly recommend uh, all of their products. Um, you know, the, 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 the Mega Loop FX, you know, is an, is, uh, an antenna that, that is my go-to antenna uh, for when I'm traveling um and has been for you know two or three years and will and when i can travel again I'll, it's, I'll still be taking it with me uh particularly you know, when i go back to australia etc which i will be going so there you go so um that's the uh, bonito uh, antenna splitter uh video hope you enjoyed it um sorry it took so long but uh finally um i've uh, got it here on the uh on the table in the shack and uh look forward to uh testing uh, or making comparisons with lots of radios now. And I do get requests a lot to compare radios. So uh, now I can do it uh, and it's going to be really easy. So uh, that's great. So uh, my thanks to Benito and to Dennis and to you for watching. And uh, I'll, I'll no doubt uh, I'll uh, uh, ho well, hopefully receive some comments on this on the, uh, on the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching, 73.